welcome. We're in the kitchen today, but we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna make some homemade baby food. Now, I did this with my oldest three. I pretty much made, I don't wanna say all, but most of their baby food homemade. With Wyatt, my fourth, and if you've been around here, then you know this, when he was starting solids, we were in the process of moving so we had moved in with my mother-in-law and then we were moving in this house. Things were just really hectic and I didn't make his. Which you can find some really good store-bought baby food, but I would much prefer to make it at home. And he does still really enjoy the pouches. If y'all watch my grocery hauls, then y'all see that. But the more I thought about it, the more it made sense to just go ahead and get back to making some baby food and I can put it in the pouches for him and then Fletcher's coming right up behind him and in a few months he'll be eating solids and I will already kind of be on the, on the right track to making baby food for him as well. Now when I made this before, I made it and I would freeze it in ice trays, ice cube trays. Then once it was frozen, I'd pop it out and put it in freezer bags. Then I would pull that out and heat it up, warm it up for my babies. Wyatt's a little older. He's 19 months now. Like I said, he really enjoys the pouches. So that's what we're going to be putting it in. And that's kind of a new experience to me. I got on Amazon and I ordered these. Let me show them to you. Here's a few of them. I ordered these pouches and they, it was like $10 for 10 of them. I have them linked to my Amazon storefront under baby and that'll be down in the description box. I have already used them some with some of our homemade applesauce and they work fantastic fantastic and why it has really enjoyed them so the way these work they open up on the bottom and they have this double zipper type closure i've not had any problems with anything leaking out of them you fill them up mash this closed and then i just store it in the refrigerator and when i want to give him one the tops twist off you wash it and you can reuse it. It says that they're top rack dishwasher safe, and I have done that. I have put them on the top rack of the dishwasher. Freezer safe, reusable, and BPA free. Part of the fun in making your own baby food is you can do whatever mixtures your child enjoys. I went by the store this morning and picked up a few things. I got, oh, what did I get? I got sweet potatoes and bananas and an avocado and some strawberries, carrots, and we're gonna get those things ready and put them in our bags. I already have my applesauce in my pantry canned. I have a video showing how we do that and I'll link that for you. Of the things that I got to use today, the only things that I need to cook are my sweet potatoes and my carrots. Everything else will just you know, get mashed, the bananas, the avocado, the strawberries. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my sweet potatoes. Then I'm gonna cook them in my air fryer. And then I'm gonna steam my carrots. You can boil them, steam them, bake them. And now that I know how these do work well, like I said, we've already been trying them out some, I think I'm gonna order another set of 10. That way I can start doing this in even bigger batches and putting them in the freezer. And then I can just pull a few out, put them in the fridge and let them thaw and they'll be there for it. I put about two thirds a cup of water in here with the carrots and put a lid on it so that I can steam them. If I feel like they're not quite done enough, I may have to add a little more water in there. You could boil them. The more water you put in, the more nutrients it's gonna pull out of your carrots. So my suggestion is, especially if you're going to boil them and put a whole lot of water in here, that you save some of that water to thin out your baby food. If you need to, if it's too thick, you can use that water that's full of some of those nutrients that it's pulled from your vegetable. You can use that water to thin out your baby food. Now, I don't like cooking things in the microwave usually, but I did go ahead and give my sweet potatoes just a little bit of a head start in the microwave. I 
cook them for about three minutes in the microwave and now I'm going to cook them the rest of the way in the air fryer. That way he just gave them a little bit of a head start and they'll be done the same time as my carrots. The only other thing that I need to do is wash up my strawberries, at least right now. We'll peel and mash bananas and all that here in a little while. But the only other thing that I need to work on right now is washing my strawberries. And I'm just going to give them a good rinse with some vinegar water. I'm just giving these carrots a little bit of a stir and taking a peek at them. We've still got plenty of water in here, so I'm going to cover them back up. My air fryer is still going. You can probably hear it, but it's almost done. I will be using banana and avocado. I'm not real worried about them turning brown. That's really just aesthetic. <laughs> anyway, I may mix some strawberry in with them. That'll help. I could put a little lemon juice in there. They're also going to be in a sealed pack inside the refrigerator. So I'm just, I'm not really worried about them oxidizing. In the past, I always froze them. And the top of my ice cube would, especially with the avocado, would get a little bit dark. But that was it. And it, I mean, it doesn't really hurt it. So I'm not super worried about that. I'm going to go ahead and get all the lids on my pouches. Somehow, one of them either came without a lid or I misplaced it when I opened them. So I'm one, I'm one lid short, which is a little frustrating, but I'll just make sure that he has that one today. I still have two packs with applesauce in them. And I thought about doing some more, but I think for now, I'm just gonna do these two with applesauce. That way I can fill my others up with different things that I'm preparing today and I know that I already have some with applesauce and I am going to go ahead and order some more of these that way I can do a little more at a time from here on out. So these are going back in the refrigerator. Now you can do your research to find out what foods are best to introduce at different ages. I'm making these for a toddler who's had all of these things before so I don't have to worry about you know he's never had strawberries do I need to introduce those by their self or do I need to put them with something he's had before? Those kinds of things because he's had all of this. But you can research to find out what foods are best to introduce at different ages. Also, the texture, the consistency may need to be thinner for a smaller child. And then as they get up to toddler, it can be a little thicker. And you can thin these with all kinds of things. You can thin them with breast milk or with formula with regular milk. I have some coconut milk in here that Wyatt drinks that I could thin this with if I need to. I'll have some of that liquid from my carrots that I can thin with if I need to. So those things are going to change based on age, what food you use, how thick you make them, those kinds of things. So just thought I would put that out there. The first thing I'm going to work on is bananas, avocado, and I'm going to put some strawberry in with it. I don't know if I'll put strawberry in with all of them. I may. I may just do that. Banana, avocado and strawberry. That sounds good. Now all I have to do to fill these is make sure the lid is on, open up the bottom, and spoon it in. It does have a max fill line so that, you know, not to go over that or it might come out when you go to close it. Isn't that pretty? And I did make a little bit of a mess. 
I, from now on, I'm gonna go a little bit below this fill line because I squeezed a little bit out of it when I closed it up, but it rinsed right off. And you could also, if you're making a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of different kinds, you could write on here what was in this bag. You could do it with a dry erase marker. You could do it with a Sharpie. Little tip, if you want to write in a Sharpie and then you want to go back and erase it, you can draw over it with a black dry erase marker and then the Sharpie will wipe off. There's a, mo a mom tip for you today. All right, one down. I'm gonna get started on my sweet potatoes. And I thought I'd tell you, I also put another two thirds cup of water in here with my carrots because they were running a little low on water. Look how beautiful these carrots are. I'm gonna put some of those over in with the sweet potatoes and then use some of that liquid to thin it. Aren't they beautiful? Huddy's here. Huddy's here. Aren't they beautiful, Hud? Mm -hmm. maple syrup and molasses in this. I think that'll be good. This sweet potato mixture is still ill. It's sweet potatoes, carrots, maple syrup, and molasses. Some of the water from the carrots and then just the plain water too because I'm remembering that sweet potatoes are one of those things that I always found I needed to add extra water in with. Anyway, it's still pretty warm, so I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator and let it cool off for a little bit. It made a beautiful mixture. That molasses and maple syrup gave it a nice rich color. Y'all, I'm remembering how much I enjoy this, how simple it is. Don't overcomplicate it. It's really easy. It's really fun. And I've missed it. I'm having fun. Are y'all having fun? Are we having fun together? Wyatt can also have cinnamon. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little cinnamon in here as well. He's had it before. He's had all these things before. I've mentioned that. He's a toddler, but you can do your own research on spices and different spices that you might want to add in based on the age of your child. This smells like Thanksgiving. You hear Fletcher? He's talking to y'all.
I washed everything up for one last batch and that's gonna be one of my suggestions to y'all. Use the same bowl, use the same utensils and just wash it as you go. That way you don't get done and have just a ton of dishes and things to do. Just kind of do it as you go. It'll make the experience more enjoyable, especially when you're done and you don't have a sink full of dishes to do. For this last batch, I'm going to do strawberry banana and I'm gonna put a few carrots in there to hide them. He likes carrots. I don't know that he really cares for carrots so much by their self. So I can put some in here with a strawberry and banana and get, get a few extra carrots in him. Okay, so I did the math for you the best that I could, and I didn't use all my bananas, I didn't use all my sweet potatoes, didn't use all my carrots, all my strawberries. I still have extras of those. I can make more. Big kids can snack on those kinds of things. So I tried to do it off of how much I used. I did the math the best I could. That's what I'm getting at. And these come out to about 50 cents a pack. Obviously, that's going to change based on different ingredients that you're using, maybe where you live and those kinds of things. But these are larger packs than what I would get at the store. And they, I think, I want to say they're five ounces. I would have to go back and double check. But they're bigger than what I would get at the store. And the ones I was buying were anywhere from like $1.20 to $1.60 a pack. At best, I could get them at Aldi for $0.90. Cents. So a money saver, and it's fun, and I know exactly what's in them. I mean, how stinking fun is this? It's beautiful, and I'm excited about it, okay? I love you, I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Mommy made you.